Have you ever asked yourself why the orchid hobby doesn't get boring ever? <laughs> Welcome to this video where I'm going to talk about repot and timing when it comes to our orchids. I'm going to put 2702 Foxy into this video because she recently got herself a CG Roebling and was asking about when do the roots grow. As a prime example, I have brought out my CG Roebling Blue Indigo because ta-da, we've got root growth. Now, we always say that when an orchid needs to be repotted, that is not the case with this one, but when an orchid needs to be repotted or will undergo a media change, different setup, for example, that we should always wait for new roots just to have them as a backup plan in case older roots will fail and then the orchid has nothing to sustain herself with. So rule of thumb is wait for new roots and then repot and the time of year should not interfere with that. Well, seeing as I've been saying that a lot in my previous videos as well, no matter the time of year, if the orchid needs to get a repot, I am going in, I'm going to do the cleanup. New roots is a signal for me. It's go time. Okay. Rule of thumb in the orchid hobby does not apply. And that's why growing orchids never gets boring. I want to put it out there that yes, 99% of the time, please, please follow that rule of thumb. Repot your orchids when new roots grow and do not look at the calendar or the time of year. It is not always spring or summer when our orchids grow new roots. However, I'm going to bring in that 1% statistic and warn you that not all the time, just because new roots are growing and you need to repot your orchid, is it a good time? So based on all the ongoings of my winter of 21 and 22, I'm going to put a video out there to tell you what I have been very, very cautious of and what I am not doing on orchids that do need a repot and a cleanup just because right now they're starting their new roots. It is a beautiful sunny day here in southern Spain. Oh, but the forecast is not looking good at all. So far, we've had the coldest recorded March since all the data was being collected in Spain. And we are up for another 10 days or two weeks of cold temperatures before things get to how they should be with normal warm temperatures. If I didn't at this point in time have this forecast foreboding, I would be repotting, cleaning up the orchids that desperately need it because of their root growth. And the timing is right as well because of the temperatures. You see, anything that we do with our orchids that is out of the ordinary, and that would be removing it from the pot, doing a transition, dividing it, even if it's just a simple up pot, Disturbing the roots of our orchids is a major, major stress factor. And even if, let's say, the climate were not right, and let's say I've got rot in the pot, of course I would do anything to save the orchid. But if an orchid is healthy and we are just itching to get in there and the roots are growing, needs must does not apply if the temperatures are not going to back up what you're going to do with that orchid. The orchid is already under stress because the temperatures are not matching what it prefers to have. It has a lot to deal with just to not collapse. If your circumstances have changed, if you've just moved from one location to another and your orchid collection came with you, if your orchid is in the stage of acclimating, I highly advise against repotting. And I bring that to your attention once again because I've said it a lot in my videos. It's go time when we see roots and an orchid needs to be repotted. My circumstances have changed. It is much colder inside the growth space that I have. I cannot provide for the coming weeks the temperatures my orchids require so that they can endure the stress of a repot while growing new roots, everything is contradictory to what the orchid would prefer. And it is at this point in time that I caution everybody that likes to get into their pots very, very quickly to really assess the real necessity of the orchid and its conditions. Clearly, I speak to everybody that does grow orchids outdoors or that doesn't have heaters, humidifiers, heat mats going, artificial lights and all of that fun stuff. And I still strongly advise everybody that has a controlled environment to continue to watch for signs of root growth for the right timing to repot. If I can get into my orchids in a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks from now, my 
new roots will have grown much, much longer than I prefer. If I then choose to do a repot, I am going to have to be extra special careful to not damage the new roots, which 90% of the time is inevitable. Then I have to decide, is my repot really so, so necessary? Or is there something I can do to tide the orchid over until it grows another new growth, which then produces new roots? And then I'm going to go in. Because for me, I want my orchids to live. I don't want them under more stress than they're already dealing with. And I have to assess the situation based on one orchid compared to the other. And the odds are the orchid is going to be absolutely fine growing the new roots in a pot. And you just want to increase the pot size. But the chances of a repot during adverse conditions will set the orchid back are very, very high. So please keep that in mind when you hear the best timing to repot an orchid is when new roots grow and the calendar makes no difference. That is true, but then assess if anything has happened in your environment that has changed, that you may need to rethink the timing. You may need to wait and go in at a later stage. Take all of that into consideration, please, because we may be thinking we're doing the right thing and the elements are working against us as well as the orchid. And on a side note, happy days. My CG Roebling is starting a new growth on the lead that should bloom later this summer, fingers crossed, without any deformed blooms. And 2702 Foxy, if you watch this video, you can see where the orchid is starting to grow new roots based on the fact that a new growth is starting. So hopefully what I told you in the comment has either already kicked in or will kick in soon enough. Check the growing points at the base of your orchid and thank you for your comment. Thank you everybody for watching this video. I really, really hope that it was helpful. I appreciate your time very much. Have yourselves a beautiful day. One condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.